This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today, my guest is Stefan Tatro, the co-chair of the forthcoming Vermont Maple Festival. Welcome, Stefan. Hi, Dennis. And we're going to be speaking today in advance of this. Uh, and one of the things that I've been doing uh, this year uh, on Positively Vermont is focusing on some events, but trying to focus far in advance so that people will see it uh, soon enough so they can participate and make plans for it, or maybe even get accommodations and also uh, work with uh, festival organizers to see uh, how they can help. So first of all, Stefan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a born and bred Vermonter, uh, raised in Fairfield, um, just a few miles out of St. Albans. And I grew up on a family dairy farm, uh, was not a sugar maker growing up. My dad was, but then when the kids, we came along, he continued to work the dairy and not the, the maple side. So I got into maple through my neighbors, uh, all my neighbors sugar, um, Cecile Brandon, my co-chair, I worked for them off and on when I was younger in high school um and many others so you know i through that through those folks uh i found a love of maple and then started um in 94 i think it was started on my own in in my family's sugar woods um now i i own it all and it's uh, my operation with my family and my best friend that helps me out and then through all the connections I've made over the years in Maple, I have um, I've been on the Franklin County Sugar Makers Association board as a member and officer. I've been on the Vermont Sugar Makers Association as a delegate and a board member uh, for quite a while, and then I I left that when Cecile Brandon asked me to join the festival in a a larger um you know larger way than just a member of the board uh she asked me to be co-chair and i said well with that i had to let something go mm -hmm. <laughs> so i dropped the vmsma at that point and uh that was probably close to 10 years ago now when i uh, became co-chair with her and we've been doing it since, <laughs> but I've been involved with Maple uh, in different aspects for uh, quite a while now. That's great. Well, tell tell our viewers a, a little bit about the Maple industry, what it involves and what are the products. I know people are familiar with Maple syrup, but there's, there's other items. So give us a, an overview of that, if you would, please. Yeah, sure. Um, there, there's so many different things that Maple can be used for. There's so many, like you said, value-added products. Uh, there's maple mustards, there's maple, you know, vinegars and dressings, uh, not to count out just the normal things that folks see with maple syrup, uh, you know, uh, like maple cream, maple candy, you know, those kind of things. Um, you know, if you're a devout coffee drinker and you put sugar in your coffee every morning, switch it up, use maple syrup instead. Mm -hmm. It's good for all of us. Um uh, so that's what I do. And then, uh, you know, then maple has got a huge impact on everybody around. Um, you know, you, you think of it, you, you know, sugaring is the way you always thought of it. Uh, you know, horses and a team of horses with a sap sled behind it, a pile of buckets and men running through the woods gathering. You know, there's still some of that, but in very small scale today, I believe. Uh, the big scale today is tubing, vacuum systems, uh, you know, very large, now small to very large operations. Uh, my operation is a, I would say, a small operation, 5,000 taps, give or take. Compared to the neighbors, they're somewhere around 80,000 taps. And there's some that are even bigger in the area. Um, so it's uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of work, and it takes a lot of time, you know, not just... Uh, you know, from the time you see steam rising from the woods or the sugar houses 
it's a, it's a year round project for all of us as sugar makers. What's the extent of the uh, of the industry in the state and and in the region? How uh, large is it, and how important is it to the welfare of the Vermont economy? Oh, it's it's huge. Uh, you know the tourism side of it. Um, you know your your maple creamy stands all summer long. Um, you know when the festival comes into town um, here in St Albans. You know, we promote it statewide, uh, you know, statewide and out of state, across the border. And it goes, you know, that we have people from all over the country, out of, in different countries that come and visit us. Uh, so, you know, that helps the restaurants, the hotels, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, the major dealers, the equipment dealers, uh, there's uh, one, two, three, four, four of them right here in Franklin County. Um, and they are, you know, they have their open houses the same weekend as the festival. So that brings in a whole, uh, another slew of folks from around the countryside to, you know, one, they're, they're buying equipment, you know, and maple equipment is not cheap, <laughs> mm -hmm. plain and simple. Um, you know, so there's a huge impact, you know, financially for that. And then the tourism side of it, you know, with folks uh, buying maple, coming to see our beautiful trees in the fall when they're all lit up with color. Uh, there, there's so many different ways that maple uh, helps, you know, the small person who's selling at the roadside stand to the farmer's markets, to the online sellers, to the bulk sellers, you know, it's just, it's everywhere. It's a great, great way. Excellent. Well, we're recording this on March 6th, and I wonder if you have any uh, views on how it's been uh, this year in terms of the production, the cycle, uh, the, the weather. How does that work? Uh, have we had a good year or are we going to have a good year? Well, the, we, we'll be able to tell you if we had a good year towards the end of April. <laughs> um, it has. We have had some very productive weather. Um, for those who were ready earlier on, there was some syrup made in January, syrup made in February. Um, there actually was a fair amount made uh, not too long ago in February. Um, so a lot of producers are, you know, maybe ahead of the game. But it's really hard to tell until those final numbers roll in about around festival time. We usually know what kind of season we we've had, um, you know, when the festival rolls in the end of April. Okay. Well, this is the 56th uh, years of the celebration? Yes, I believe so. We we missed a couple just because of COVID, but yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the history, how this got started? Well, it, it got started, of course, 50 odd years ago, and there was some ramsh ramshackle shacks that they put together in Taylor Park. Uh, and it was done during March, during the height of sugaring season versus uh, end of April um, back then. So they, you know, they had all kinds of weather and uh, they would pack it in and do it up. Um, you know, folks just wanted to promote, you know, the first maple, the first agricultural crop of Vermont every year. And uh, that's how it got its feet, um, you know, and then from there, it has just expanded over the years. We're, you know, we're doing tours, we're doing, you know, product demonstrations, those kind of things, um, you know, to try to educate folks on, you know, where maple is and how to get it, what you can do with it. There's just, it's endless. That's amazing. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, the festival is going to be uh, starting April 28th, uh, 29th and 30th. Uh, and, and tell us a little bit about uh, what the run-up to the festival is involved. What are you, what are you going to be doing between now and then? And uh, what can people expect? Yeah. So our, our board meets once a month. Uh, we take a few months off during the summer. <laughs> but we start planning. Basically, we start planning right after the, the previous festival gets done. We have a couple of meetings, follow-ups, wrap-ups. What can we do to improve? Those kind of things. And then we take a couple of months off, but there's always in the back of your head, you're, you're thinking of, well, what can we do? You know, what can we bring in for entertainment for folks while they're here visiting us? Um, what can we do to make it uh, better for the vendors, the 
uh, the businesses in town. You know, we try to work with everybody. Are we going to make everybody happy? Not a chance. But we're going to try to make at least somebody happy. Um, but there is a lot of planning, a lot of advertising. Um, you know, we've got our board of 12 or so, 15, and a slew of volunteers once the festival gets here. Um, and they they all do this before their love of maple. And, you know, there's nobody's getting paid for this. We all take our own time from work. Um, you know, there's, and, it, and it's a lot of time advertising, you know, and especially right now, that's the big one right now is we're getting our advertising up and running and the brochure, which I had sent you, getting that ready to go to publication. And you can see by the looks of that brochure, there's a lot of things in that brochure that have to get lined up prior to this being printed. Um, you know, sugar house tours, entertainment for the stage, um, the vendors, and you know, there's just so many things. There's uh, we we could go on all day about it. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, we're going to uh, put the website uh, in, in the video, uh, uh, vtmaplefestival.org, and there's all kinds of information on that. And uh, let, let's go through uh, some of the events. Uh, uh, first of all, it's going to be in Taylor Park. Uh, in the the hub is Taylor Park. There'll be, you know, um, a lot of maple uh, treats in the park. There's, you know, your, your kind of your normal food vendors along the main street. Um, and then we have our exhibit hall, which is in the parish hall just above the park. Uh, it used to be in the high school, and but uh, we moved it over to the parish hall this, for this year, this first year there. Um, you know, that's where the products... Uh, the cooking contest, all the maple syrup entries are are shown off and, you know, the, for the winners and whatnot. Um, there'll be maple cotton candy available, maple cream glazed donuts, maple creamies, um, you know, syrup tasting in the park. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot going on. And, of course, we have the craft show, the antique show, uh, which also start on Friday. Um, and then there's, uh, you know, some free, everything and everything is free um, on uh, for those, you know, there's only a few paid items. And that's, you know, the talent show tickets or the fiddlers show tickets on Saturday night, the pancake breakfast is a paid item, which that's back now, uh, after a couple year hiatus. Um so yeah, we, you know, so the, and then it go ahead. Well, let me ask you this Maple Exhibit Hall. That's the parish hall you were talking about? Yes. What's the name of that church? Uh the St. Mary's Parish Hall. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that that's where all the indoor uh activities that, that's are. the indoor for, for that. Um and then of course we have the craft show, which is in the BFA high school gymnasium. The antique show, which is in the St. Albans Town Educational School uh, Gymnasium. The pancake breakfast is at the St. Albans City School um, gymnasium or cafeteria. And, you know, a lot of these items were kind of nixed the last couple of years because of, you know, what's been happening. Um, and thankfully, the schools have let us back in for this year so we can put a normal what we call normal festival, full bore, <laughs> we're going to have everything there. Well, the last time you had it, how many people attended uh, approximately over the, that, the That's a tough, tough question to answer. Um, but I would say over the weekend, um, not counting, you know, our, our folks and volunteers, um, I would say there's got to be somewhere between 20 and 60,000 people that come to St. Albans over the weekend, you know, between the parade on Sunday, um, you know, and then just coming to see the entertainment, the entertainment, the main street entertainment is just great. Um, definitely when you, uh, these folks go and look at our website, there's all this entertainment on the stage and it's all free. You know, if it's a nice day, the sun's shining, there'll be chairs there they can sit. Um, if it's not so nice today, well, maybe bring an umbrella and a blanket. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Cause... Well, now that you mentioned it, now tell us a little bit about uh, what the entertainment's going to be provided on the uh, Main Street stage there. 
Sure, sure. Um, so on the, the Main Street stage, let's see here. I've got my cheat sheet with me. Um, but we'll, we'll just jump on Saturday, for for example. You know, in the morning, the uh, a local electric youth dance company right there in St. Albans. Uh, they're going to perform on stage. And then um, after them, the talent show, which is on Friday night, the winners from the talent show will perform on the Main Street stage after uh, around 1130. Um, then there's a youth rock band, the Kingdom All Stars, which will perform early afternoon. And then uh, at four o'clock, uh, 8084, which is a very well-known band in this area, around Northern Vermont, they, um, they're they gonna be playing. So that should be a great show. Um, and we, you know, we have a lot of different folks. Um, so on Friday afternoon, for example, there's uh, a No Shoes Nation band. It's a Kenny Chesney tribute band. They're mm -hmm. gonna play. Um, so there's a lot going on. You know, we all start. We, it all starts out with our opening ceremonies at noon on Friday at the Main Street stage. So if you like maple and milk, they go together real well. We have a little maple and milk toast on oh. while we do our opening ceremonies. That's great. And uh, tell us about the parade. Uh, that's going to be at yep, the parade on Sunday. Um, so we have the parade on Sunday, which is at um, noon. It starts down on the southern end of the town, and then it comes through the city. And um, and there's somewhere between, oh, I don't know, 80 to 120 entries, if not more or, or less. It depends. Depends if it's an election year. Sometimes there is an awful lot of politicians walking in the parade, which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, but yeah, so yeah, they have a good parade, and uh, you know, while you're watching the parade, you can have your your fried dough or your um, maple brownie or maple donut or your maple creamy. <laughs> you know, there's maple cotton candy <laughs> or or other things that are out there as well. That's great. Well, tell us, uh, are there going to be any bands participating in the parade or uh, things like fire trucks and uh, yeah, the things that always, uh, kids might like? Yeah, there's always uh, there's always some a few bands, a few high school bands. Uh, there's the uh, uh, pipe and uh, the bagpipe band that usually is always here. I can't, uh, their name escapes me at the moment, but that's all right. Um, you know, so yes, there are is some bands in the parade and uh, a lot of fire trucks usually, and so we try to have the entrance, uh, you know, the all the rest of the entries are, there's a theme for the, the festival every year. This year it's Maple, the heart of Vermont. Mm -hmm. So they try to theme their, their float or their entry towards that, and they're judged, and somebody's going to win, you know, the best, whoever matched up to the theme the best, they'll win. There'll be a first, second, and third. So, and that, yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, 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 the products itself. Is there going to be a uh, competition, uh, um, uh, kind of a uh, an awards based upon the products uh, involved? Yes. So there's uh, there's quite a few uh, products. So there's the maple syrup products. So you have your your golden delicate, which used to be the fancy grade. Your um, amber grade and then the dark robust grade so we have um you know folks can enter one category or or all three um and those are judged for flavor density and clarity um and then based on those items the panel of judges will pick out their top let's say Let's say in the in the golden delicate class, there's 25 entries. They'll pick the top 10, for example, that which are outstanding in that class, and out of that, they'll pick the best of class. Um, and the same thing happens in the other two grades. And they also then they'll take the the three best, and then they have to pick out best of show. Um, and they do the same thing with maple sugar maple cream uh they'll have maple fudge 
Oh, there's quite a few. I'd have to look it all up, but there's uh, the judges have quite a sweet tooth by the end of the day, I'm sure. That <laughs> sounds then, great. Yeah. And then there's a cooking contest as well where, um, you know, they they cook with maple. There's different, you know, there's like preserves, pickles, cakes, cookies, um, healthy, uh, healthy things with maple. Uh, yeah. And yeah, again, I'm probably I'm forgetting a few, but <laughs> I'm going to try to cover the ones I can remember. <laughs> Great, because we, we let's all be on the site, and and people can look look up yeah. things uh, as uh, that yep. they want to follow up on what what you uh, tell us about. Um, now, this um, is there a craft and specialty uh, a part of this uh, where people exhibit their crafts? Uh, yeah. I, I see something here about that. Tell us about that. Yep, the craft show, which is at the BFA uh, High School Gymnasium, that is uh, all all three days, and yes, it's it's full of crafters. And last I knew, there was still a couple spaces left. So if there are crafters out there that want to join the festival this year, they could reach out to the website and then reach out to our craft show chair, Michelle, and she will hook you up. Uh, but yeah, they there's a little bit of everything in there. And that's at the Bellows Free Academy, BFA. Yes, Bellows Free Academy, the high school. Excellent. What yeah. what are maple crafts? What are we uh, Excuse me? talking about? What are maple crafts? What are uh, well, there things? might be uh, artwork that's made out of a you know maple leaves carved out of a maple log with the old tap holes in them, or um, there's a vendor that's was looking to come in. I don't know if he's going to come or not. Where he he makes. Um, you know, like light lights that you can put on the wall out of old sap buckets and he cuts a um you know a, a design in those. Um uh, there's just yeah there's a lot of different things what they could do. You know, some folks make uh birdhouses out of old maple jugs, <laughs> you know, things like that. That's great. Uh is there going to be uh like industry kind of exhibitors, uh manufacturers or companies that deal with 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 the business in yeah and those are more at the dealers so the you know the big dealers around you know leader evaporator h2o which they have joined forces um cdl dominion grim and lapierre those the, those dealers all generally have their open house um, at their facilities um all weekend on saturday friday and saturday or saturday sunday um and you know sugar makers from all over the regions come to those open houses that's great well i, I don't want to pin you to this because uh <laughs> uh it's on the website but you do have a lot of sponsors people who are uh participating in this i know it's difficult sometimes to, to remember them all but they are on the on the site but if you want to say something about the people who make this possible uh well, there is, yeah, there is a lot of sponsors. Um, and like you said, there, there's no way that we could put this show on and have it all free for folks um, without all these sponsors. You know, we have from like People's Trust, uh, the, the five maple dealers that I just mentioned to you, uh, Vermont Federal Credit Union, Handy Chevrolet, Toyota, and Handy's Downtown, uh, Channel 3, WCAX, um, Viatris. There is just so many of them. Um, let me see who else I can think of. And then, you know, uh, WOKO and the radio stations around, um, you know, and then we have, you know, some smaller ones. These are all, all different size uh, sponsors, you know, from $100 up to $5,000. So it, it really ranges, um, you know, Clarence Brown Fuels, the Vermont Maple Sugar Makers Association, um, you know, small businesses like O.C. McEwen and Son and Highgate, uh, the Sources Market, uh, Maple Fields, you know, and then, of course, we have a lot of the, the lodging places around as well. And most of these um, um, sponsors you know, they have a love for maple, you know, wherever it be, it be an insurance agent like Kinney Insurance um, or Cooperative Insurance. You know, these have all been longtime standing uh, sponsors. 
and we always try to pick up uh, a new one here or there elsewhere. Um, and, you know, by gosh, you know, when you go to one of these sponsors, tell them thank you for helping the Maple Festival because uh, without them, we, I don't know how we do it. <laughs> that, that's great. And they're all listed on the website. Uh, they're all listed on the website and they're also listed uh, in the brochure, which uh, the welcome centers should have our brochures and the vendors or the, the sponsors will be getting their brochures. So uh, we just had those, the final printing just came in and they were picked up. So they're starting to work their way out into these locations. So that's great. Yeah. I just want to ask a couple more things. Uh, tell us about this art show that that's part of it. The art show? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, it's a combination art, photography, where, <clears throat> you know, it can be, um, you know, folks can just like anything else, just like the maple products. They can enter a painting that's maple related. Um, and there's uh, quite a few different categories, which are listed again on the, on the website, I'm I'm not up on that too much, but there's uh, generally like, like you know landscape photos, uh, those kind of things. So, yeah, that's great. And uh, what about concessions? Uh, there there are going to be uh, places where people can buy things, I guess, cards and souvenirs and things like that. Yeah, there the Maple Festival itself has its own uh concession so to speak where we sell maple products you know syrup value-added products uh candies creams those kind of things uh, barbecue sauces uh, there's just so many um and you know t-shirts and it's kind of similar to the shirt i have on today oh so that's the, great tap into festival vermont shirt. maple that's great that's <laughs> yeah. great so wow. you know there's always uh those we have uh uh, that'll be available in the uh, exhibit hall and also on the Main Street, uh, Main Street store that we have. Um, so those are the two for us. And there are other folks around, you know, that the uh, at the craft show and whatnot would have some other, you know, trinkets or whatnot that you could uh, pick up That's as great. well. Well, finally, let me ask you a little bit about kids entertainment. Uh, yep. I know there's a plenty for the adults, but what kind of kids <laughs> entertainment is it going to be? Yeah. So, yeah, we have, uh, you know, different different entertainment for the kids. Uh, we have um, uh, what they, they call him a dragon man, the fire show in the park. Uh, that is Jason Tardy. He does four shows on Saturday in the park. Um, and then... We also have a the Aim High Canines, which is another free show in the park, which is uh, which was really uh, received quite well. Um, and then at the BFA Performing Arts Center on Saturday, the kids program is um, Yo Jo, what a guy! He's a he's a kind of a master of a lot of different tricks that uh, young people enjoy. Uh, I've I've actually sat down and watched him, and he's he's quite fun to watch. <laughs> um, he has three shows in on Saturday at the Performing Arts Center, and then uh, let's see what else. And there's face painting for the kids at different locations throughout the craft show at the exhibit hall. Uh, down in the park, we we'll have a tent where they do some face painting as well. Uh, and then there's some a few rides as well for kids, uh, which great. will be. We were hoping to have our full ride package back this year, and we just got the notice uh, last week that we'll have our rides in the park as we had the last couple festivals, but our big set of rides that we usually have down by the courthouse will not be here this year, unfortunately. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, this really sounds very exciting, and uh, I want to uh, refer to the uh, website and the brochure, which is going to be available uh soon uh about the vermont maple festival and we're getting uh near uh the end and and, and maybe uh Stephen, you can just give people a parting shot uh, a welcome or anything you want to say to uh, conclude us this morning yeah you know we we love to have folks come to this festival um you know i i've done i've been a bus tour to the sugar houses which we haven't covered you know we do a sugar house tour on saturday to two different 
locations. Um, we're going to the Horgan family in Fairfield to their sugar house, which is a new sugar house they built a couple of years ago. Uh, and also to uh, John Johnson's, which is also in Sheldon, just outside of Fairfield, uh, which is a fairly new place as well. Um, and when you go on these tours and you meet folks from, I've met people from South America, um, Australia, all over the country, all over the world, uh, uh, as well with, as folks around here. And it's just the best part is just to be able to visit with these folks because they have a love for maple. That's why they're here. Um, or they want to learn about it. And I, I'd like to invite people, you know, because how are you going to learn if you don't come and see what's happening? You know, if we could do bus tours all day long, it would be great. But it, it <coughs> excuse me, just like anything else, it takes time to get tour guides, buses, locations and locations this time of year in april uh that the buses can actually get to <laughs> okay well that that's great and uh yeah. we're, we're uh i just want to uh, thank uh, our guest here today uh, stefan tatro uh co-chair of the vermont uh, maple festival coming up in beautiful st albans april 28th 29th and 30th and thank you very much stefan and thank you for uh, your committee and uh, Cecile and everybody who's doing all this wonderful work, uh, the heart of Vermont, Maple, the heart of Vermont. That's a wonderful uh, slogan for this year. So <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, this has been Dennis McMahon for Positively Vermont. Thank you for watching.